Time management. How do you do it, and what's your advice? Um, How do you nudge yourself, uh, or who nudges you? If uh, well, I have a four-year-old daughter, and uh, she just turned four. And if I don't deliver pages to her at night, she goes to bed around 8.30. She's really mad. She said, Daddy, what did you write? And this is completely <laughs> false. I'm making it up. <laughs> so, but uh, she doesn't have any need that I write pages. But uh, I feel, I guess I feel every day that if I haven't written at least something or had an idea, then I haven't quite done my job. Mm -hmm. Most days I feel that, I have to write something. And if I have a week or two weeks where I haven't made a little progress on something that is potentially an academic article or a book, I feel, you know, uh, pedal to the metal time. You've got you to produce something. So I have kind of an, an internal uh, uh, superego or something about writing. I also really enjoy it. Um, it I have no writer's block. Uh, but I will write a lot of stuff that no one will ever see because it's too terrible. So we only get the tip of the iceberg. You got this. Uh, my filter is probably not sufficiently rigorous, so you get probably see too much. But I do have a filter. There's a lot of stuff that I so so I write. I try. Like the the I, there is no try. There's do. But there's also <laughs> experimenting. So there. I'm working on a book on liberty. I've been doing it for a few years, and I have ninety thousand words, and I don't like, I don't like what there what's there. I hope something will come of it. But uh, just uh, the the advice would be, you know, you our uh, living practitioner of this is, uh, you know, if you have something to say, write it, and then think, is it worth showing to the world? Uh, to be too critical of your own production, I think is a, at the early stages at least, is uh, an error. Be critical if it's a book or an academic article. You know, be really hard on yourself late, but early, just assume it's good.